one of the bands that truly helped define the indie rock sound of the 80s and 90s has reached the end. Yeah, Saw Riem quietly announced on its website Wednesday that the group is breaking up. CBS News correspondent Anthony Mason has a look at three decades of music making from the Rock and Roll Hall of Famers. It's the end of the world as we know it. Maybe not the end of the world, but the end of the band as we know it. After more than 30 years together, REM has called it quits. Frontman Michael Stipe wrote to the group's legion of fans. We built something extraordinary together. We did this thing, and now we're going to walk away from it. That's the site of the record store where Peter and I first met. R.E.M. formed in 1980 in Athens, Georgia, and began creating a kind of music, alternative rock, that was the antidote to the glam rock and metal bands dominating the music scene throughout the decade. They weren't a band that set out to be a huge band. They were a band that set out to be great. They achieved both. This one goes out to the one I love. 1987's The One this I Love was the first of R.E.M.'s four top ten hits, and the band went from indie to iconic. From, I would say, 88 until about 93, 94, you could really make the argument that R.E.M. was one of the biggest bands in the world. Their biggest hit, Losing My Religion, was released in 1991. Life. That was a really moving thing about R.E.M. Their music communicated in such an intimate way. R.E.M. has sold more than 50 million albums worldwide and influenced an entire genre of music. Every important band out of that world that followed them, you know, Pearl Jam and Nirvana, all owe a debt to R.E.M. In 1997, they suffered a setback when drummer Bill Berry left after suffering a double aneurysm. And when the band sat down for this Sunday morning interview three years ago, there was already a sense of how they wanted to go out. We don't want it to end in all those bad ways that, that bands tend to end, uh, or that people just kind of peter out and get increasingly less interesting. And so the members of R.E.M. have left the stage the same way they entered it, on their own terms. Anthony Mason, CBS News, New York.